Namaste! Welcome to Gentle Yoga for beginners to support and strengthen your immune system. In this video you will learn yoga stretches and tools that will help support and keep your immune system strong. This video is not meant to cure any illnesses or diseases. If you are sick, you need to rest, seek medical advice and visit your primary care physician. So with that being said, let's start in child's pose. Bring your big toes together, sit back on your heels, you can keep your knees together or separate them. Lower your upper body down, walk your hands out towards the front of your yoga mat and rest your forehead on your mat. Take a few big belly breaths in and out through your nose. Notice your upper body expanding with each inhale and contracting with each exhale. Allow yourself, your whole body to soften and relax and rest in child's pose. Child's pose or balasana has a very grounding and calming effect. It helps to relieve stress. Stress can weaken your immune system. So allow yourself to go into a rest and digest mode to relax completely is a great way to boost your immune system. Slowly, we're going to invite movement and link breath with movement. Take a deep breath in, get ready to come on all fours. As you exhale, round your spine, bring your chin to your chest, come into a cat pose. Inhale, drop your belly, open your chest, lift your chin in cow pose and slowly sit back on your heels in child's pose. As you exhale, round your spine, chin to your chest, cat. And inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin, and then sit back in child's pose. Exhale, rounding your spine, chin to your chest. Inhale, arch your spine, open your chest, and sit back on your heels in child's pose. And take a deep breath in child's pose. On your next inhale, come back on all fours slowly and mindfully and then from there slowly lie down onto your tummy lower yourself all the way down zip your legs together press the tops of your feet firmly into the ground place your elbows under your shoulders lean on your forearms and your forearms are parallel with each other like the number 11 and then shine your heart forward so bring your sternum your breastbone forward gaze forward Take a few deep breaths in Sphinx Pose. Sphinx Pose is a wonderful gentle back bend. It helps to relieve stress and calms the nervous system. We will add a hip stretch in Sphinx Pose. Bring your right knee in line with your right hip, flex your right foot and rest your right leg on the ground. So this is a half frog pose in combination with Sphinx Pose. Breathe deeply in and out through your nose. And then release, switching sides. Lengthen out your right leg, then bend your left knee and bring it in line with your left hip, flex your left foot and take a few deep breaths. Half frog pose has a calming effect and it also helps improve blood supply to the lymphatic system and your brain. The lymphatic system is part of your immune system and it's kind of like your body's drainage system. It gets rid of all the toxins and waste in a proper way. Release and lengthen your left leg. Take one deep cleansing breath in Sphinx Pose. And then from here, place your hands under your shoulders, gently push yourself up on all fours and then from there, sit back on your heels in Child's Pose. You can keep your knees together, drape your upper body down towards the ground place your forehead on the ground and keep your arms lengthened out in front of you. This way your armpits get a nice stretch. With the lymphatic system there are lymph nodes in your body and there's a concentration in three areas of your body, your neck, armpits and chest area and your groin. By stretching these areas you help the lymph fluid move throughout your lymphatic system and that promotes a healthy movement of nutrients and waste. Breathe deeply, allow yourself to completely rest and relax 
and know and trust your body's intelligence that is working hard to keep itself healthy and in balance. And then very slowly, mindfully push yourself up, use your hands, sit up tall, and then from here, swing your legs forward and sit with your knees up. Come a little bit forward towards the front of your yoga mat. You can hold on to your knees and slowly lower yourself down so you're lying down on your back. Keep your chin on your chest, head comes down last. Then bring your heels closer to your bum, feet are hip width apart, arms are along your body, then take a deep breath in, press your hands and arms firmly into the ground and then lift your pelvis up. Don't let your knees play out, keep them in line with your hips and breathe deeply in bridge pose. This is another nice way to stretch out your groin and hip flexors and to compress your throat area. So we have lymph nodes in our neck and throat area, armpits and chest and groin. Now slowly lower your bum down. So lie down flat on your back. Press your lower back firmly into the ground. Don't let your lower back come off the floor. So press your belly button in towards your spine. Then lift your feet off the ground and bring your knees closer to your upper body. Place your right ankle on top of your left knee. Left knee is bent. And you can hold on to the back of your thigh. You can interlace your hands. Hold on to the back of your left thigh. Flex your right foot. Breathe deeply. And then we'll add a very mild inversion. So lengthen your left leg up. You can keep a soft bend in your left knee. Reclined pigeon pose is a nice gentle hip stretch. And by lengthening out the left leg, we're adding a mild inversion. So that will help the blood circulation. Beautiful, and then release. Place your left foot on the floor. Scoot your hips a few inches over to your right and gently as you exhale, let your knees fall to your left side. You can hold on to your right knee. Open your right arm out to the side in line with your right shoulder and turn your chin to your right for a spinal twist. Breathe deeply. Twists are great for your digestive system and help rinse out toxins. And then switching sides. Plant your right foot on the floor with your right knee up. Bend your left knee and place your left ankle on top of your right knee. Then bring your right knee towards your body, towards your chest, and hold on to the back of your right thigh. You can interlace your hands. And remember to flex your left foot to help protect your left knee. Breathe deeply. And then very slowly, mindfully lengthen out your right leg. And you can keep a soft bend in your right knee for a very mild inversion. Breathe in and out through your nose. And then slowly bend your right knee, plant your right foot into the floor. Shift your hips a few inches over to your left. As you exhale, drop your knees to your right, slowly and mindfully. And then open your left arm out to the left side, in line with your left shoulder. Try to keep both shoulders grounded into the earth. Turn your chin to your left. Take slow, deep breaths in supine twist, your spinal twist. And then as you inhale, come back to center. Place your feet on the outer edges of your yoga mat. Lean your knees against each other. Bring your arms along your body. Head is in the center. Feel free to close your eyes. So instead of corpse pose, shavasana, we will take this constructive rest pose with our knees up. This is a nice way to release any tension in the lower back and it helps allow your body to find complete rest and relaxation. So make sure that you're as comfortable as possible. Maybe you need to turn your toes a little bit inward 
will be here for a few minutes to allow your body to take in all the benefits of the poses and the stretches we did. Allow your body to bring itself back in balance. Breathe deeply and know and trust your body's intelligence and all the work that it does to keep itself healthy and strong while you're resting. Relieving stress and allowing yourself to rest is very important in a balanced and healthy lifestyle. Movement and exercise is important, but you also have to let your body rest and decompress and come back into balance. In this yoga video, we focused on two things to help support and strengthen your immune system. The first one was stretching the three main areas where your lymph nodes are concentrated. You have lymph nodes everywhere in your body, but big concentrations in your neck and throat, your arm under your armpits and by your chest, and in your groin area. So we stretch these parts out to help stimulate lymphatic drainage. And then the other very important factor is stress. Stress can weaken your immune system, as I mentioned before, and doing yoga, breathing deeply, helps your body to relax, calm down, calm your nervous system. So all these factors help support and strengthen your immune system. Now our immune system is a very complex, very beautiful intelligent system and there's a lot of things we can control and some things we cannot control but we can do a lot to keep our minds and bodies healthy and strong and go for the healthier options in life. So this doesn't mean that you have to change all your habits overnight to live a healthier lifestyle. It's important that you feel good about what you do. So, you know, there should be a balance, take things in moderation, but think of it in baby steps and uh, little changes. Little changes make big differences. So for example, yoga helps a lot. Doing yoga regularly helps a lot. Breathing deeply, getting fresh air, vitamin D, uh, going outside. Even if it's for a few minutes, it's very beneficial. Eating healthy, of course. Skipping sugar. Sugar lowers your immune system as well. Getting plenty of sleep and going to bed on time is also very important for your immune system. If you are tired, if you feel a little bit run down, then go into this pose, into constructive rest pose, lying on your back with your knees up and leaning against each other. It's very beneficial, very effective to help your mind and your body calm down, rest and relax. And you can just do it for a few minutes anytime during your day. Now I would like to invite you to think about one little thing or one little change that you can do to live a little bit of a healthier lifestyle. So maybe skipping sugar, going outside more often, taking a walk in nature, um, going to bed on time doing some more yoga, what is one little thing that you can do today or sometime this week to help support and strengthen your immune system? Then begin to deepen your breath. Invite movement in your fingers and your hands, your feet and your toes. And then very slowly, turn over to your right side into a fetal position. And then from there, push yourself up and come into a cross-legged position. Lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders, and rest your palms on your knees or on your thighs. We'll finish with a few neck stretches. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lower your chin down towards your chest. Keep breathing.
slowly inhale bring your chin up you don't have to throw your head all the way back just looking up towards the ceiling breathe deeply so we're compressing and stretching the throat area where the lymph nodes are and then take a deep breath in come back to center exhale right ear towards your right shoulder keep breathing and then inhale bring your head back to center exhale left ear to your left shoulder keep breathing and then inhale come back to center exhale now do a few half circles bring your chin down towards your chest and roll your head from side to side no need to do full circles just half circles this is enough to release any neck tension and to compress and stretch the lymph nodes in your throat and neck area as you breathe in bring your chin back up back to center resting your palms on your thighs or on your knees roll out your shoulders so bring your shoulders up back down forward just a few shoulder rolls to release tension nice and then let's do a few gentle taps over your breastbone with your fingertips this is to stimulate your thymus gland your thymus gland is, has a very important function in your immune system and it's located right behind your breastbone and right in front of your heart just a few gentle taps and then release let's seal our practice together as you inhale circle your arms up exhale unite your hands and draw your hands down in prayer position in front of your heart take a moment to thank yourself for taking this time to take care of yourself your health and well-being and thank you so much for joining me may this practice be a blessing to you from my heart to yours thank you so much for watching Get your free Blissful Morning Guide right now by clicking the first link below this video. Just enter your name and email and I'll instantly send it to you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new yoga and meditation videos every Tuesday. And if you like this video, like it, share it with your friends and family. And let me know in the comments how it went for you if you have questions or requests for future videos. And I look forward to seeing you soon again. Thank you so much. Bye.